Geek TV presents Homework Hotline, the after-school show that fuses learning with fun. Watch local teachers bring the classroom on air and online. This is Homework Hotline. Hi, welcome to Homework Hotline. I'm Ken Pinkerton. I'm a retired science teacher from Zane Middle School. And I'm Rita McConaughey. I'm math specialist with Northern United Humboldt Charter School, and you're watching Homework Hotline. Woohoo! Welcome to it. So, um, and this year, what we're our focus is we're going to try and uh, integrate uh, with uh, classroom teachers to try and reinforce some of the activities that, especially if you're doing distance learning. Um, they might not be able to demonstrate with you and and, uh, and then also math the same thing. So uh, I think our focus is going to be uh, uh, one day a week will be a focus on science and the other day will be uh, a focus on, on math. Um, and then we'll try and integrate them as much as we can. So one of the things we're going to integrate right now is uh, we're going to start for Thursday's show is, is uh, we have a variety of candles um, and we're going to light them and we're going to try and throughout the show um, keep an eye out on, on how tall they are. So we've got a, a we measured all of them before the show. Um, so and starting this red one. There we go. I um, wonder if I should put the wick up. Yeah, probably should. Um, so, and what the fire is, is combustion. Yeah, right? combustion. Okay. So today's theme is, is uh, on combustion and um, Higher is more common, is probably the most f form that we know of. And so uh, the definition is it's a ra uh, combustion is a process of burning something. It's a rapid uh, chemical combination of a substance uh, uh, with oxygen producing heat and light. And so these are uh, perfect uh, examples of heat and light. So we have five different candles um, that we measured. They, they vary from 31 centimeters to about eight and a half centimeters. Um, and I'm not sure. I'm gonna start the timer, um, and we'll. We're gonna use this data, right? Yeah. For our show on, on Thursday. Thursday's show, yeah. So, um, so what we're gonna do now is is uh, some things to kind of illustrate what it takes for combustion to to, to take place, and um, one of them is kind of a. You probably know about. I'm gonna light both of these. So, all right. Um, Can you remind me what you said about combustion? So it's a, it's a chemical process okay. um, that combines uh, oxygen um, with a fuel and, and heat, um, and then the chemical reaction is the big one um, that we can show. Um, and I want to try and illustrate some of those as we go through. So first thing I want to do is take this candle, I'm going to attach it, put a little stick on it so I can put it, I'm going to put it in this cup. And we'll leave it there for a little bit. And so um, you see it's burning fine. So no, no problem at all. So a little flickering at first. But now if I take the same one, so the cup's open, now I'm going to put a cup upside down on it. And we'll get a different response. So we can do count one, two, oops, it's, uh, three, oh, it burned the bottom of the cup. But OK, so that was about four, four second count Okay, for that one. Now I'm going to do the same thing with a test tube, which is a lot smaller. And let's see what happens on that. So one, whoops, so about one second. So that kind of, the, and the, the purpose of showing me that is when the, the candle is sitting in this cup, oxygen can get to it. Um, and so it continued to burn. And but uh, whenever uh, we put the cup upside down, it consumes all the oxygen inside and, and um, that's one of the elements that's required to um, for a combustion or a fire to happen and so it, it does that. So that shows that that uh, oxygen is part of it. Now I'm going to have Rita take this one and she's got a pair of forceps and she's going to, so if we can zoom in on the that and she's going to pinch right at the so bottom like of the, the, the um, wick on the candle and you can see pretty quickly Wow. It goes out. What it so let's try that again. Cut. What? So what could, what could happen? What do you think is happening whenever you pinch the wick? Well, I guess I'm cutting it off from the wax. Yeah. So, you, so you're. And you said it needed oxygen and 
fuel, fuel. is the yeah, wax. So the wax burning is the fuel. Um, and by pinching that, you stop the, the melted wax from going up and doing it. So that's a neat way to show um, that, that fuel is an important part of it. Is now a good time to measure my candles? Um, yeah, let's see how much time it's been. Three minutes. Okay. So you want to want to try and do it every three minutes? Yeah, that <laughs> okay, sounds that good. Okay, that sounds like a, looks okay. like a providence. So I'm keeping I'm keeping track here. So my time is three minutes, and then while Ken is working on that, I'm going to just keep track of the lengths. Okay. okay. So you want me to go on while you while yeah. you measure those? Okay. Unless you need me. I think I can. We'll use some wax or some clay here. The, another neat, neat uh, kind of surprising demonstration is I'm going to, I've got a candle again on a, on a stick and I'm going to put it in this time right side up inside this test tube. Okay, and you can see it'll go for a little bit, but then it goes out. So um, the narrowness of the test tube uh, keeps it from uh, oxygen from reaching there. But, but what's neat, and this is shown in some uh, lanterns do this is I'm going to put this little divider which is made out of just um, aluminum foil okay and so I, I attach it to my stick and here so I've got uh, aluminum foil there and I'm going to light my candle again and I'm going to put it back into my test tube you'll see it flickered a little bit but it's still burning Oops, oops, there it went out. <laughs> so um, I need to re replace my, my candle out a little bit. You know uh, what I'm noticing on this ruler is that it doesn't start at zero Right, but, but since we started from not the measuring them all the time, I think we're okay. Okay. We, we have a standard. Um, so what's happening is rather than all the oxygen being burned out, I'm going to see if I can draw on this. Can I do it with my finger or do I need to use the wand? You can. Okay, so here's the test tube. Okay, and here's the candle burning away. And if I just put it in there, it quickly consumes all the, the oxygen inside. But if I put this little divider here, what happens is as, as the candle burns, the heat carries the air up, and then cold air comes in down through here, and it, it's enough to keep the candle burning. So, um, so it's kind of a neat, neat uh, vision. And then sometimes you'll look at lanterns and they'll, they'll have this kind of same apparatus. There'll be a divider in, in the middle of it and, and it keeps the, the candle burning away. So, um, and then there, there's a cool graphic that, that I want to show. If the camera can come in real close on this flame, maybe if I'll try and put a, this white help if I put it behind it, you can see, Oops. and then we'll look at the numbers in a sec. So if the candle can come in real close, there we go. Um, I think with white, it's not a good, <laughs> not a good background. Uh, but you can see different elements. Yeah, you want to try that with your, thank you. Um, so you can see that there, there's the yellow part on the outside of it. Um, and um, so we're and then, there, then the we flame. have a neat graphic. So there's actually different temperatures. So you can see a kind of a yellow in, around the flame there, and, it, and then it's also kind of a black area. And, and different things are happening. So the hottest flame is, is right there on the top. Um, and what, what's neat also, this is just a little metal grating, is that um, this doesn't need thing about taking away heat. So if I put this down, you'll see that the it interrupts you. All of a sudden it starts turning black, which means showing that it's not complete. Um, can you tilt it? Yeah, it's a I little bit. Yeah. Tilt it that oh, way I do it that way, can yeah, you see? Okay, there we go. Yep. That, that it actually uh, stops the flame from going. It takes away some of the heat, which slows it down, and you can see the black smoke coming up. And anytime you see smoke, that's incomplete uh, com uh, combustion. That, that a lot of carbon is coming off. Rather than making uh, water, it comes off as a lot of carbon. So um, so that's a neat one. And then um, you'll often see around uh, things that are burning, they'll have a wire mesh that's Could going around. Could you show me what time it is? Yeah. I think it's time to measure again. Uh, let's see if we can get the timer going. Yeah, it's time again. So we okay. got seven minutes. So. Seven minutes this time. And then you want to measure and, and talk about uh, what's going on there at the same sure. time? Sure. So. 
So the first one, uh, we, got, we dropped one and a half centimeters in three minutes. And so the first one, I don't think it's, it's not getting shorter very quickly it's at all. Right, yeah. So it's down to 29 centimeters. 29. It started at 31, and now after seven minutes, it's down to 29. 29. I'm going to measure the okay, yeah, birthday one because it's going to be gone before I know before. it. It started at eight and a half centimeters, eight, and yeah. it's already at three, three centimeters. centimeters. Okay. That's quite a bit. And then the blue one started at nine, nine uh -huh. centimeters, and it is down to six and a half, so six, six point half. five. So it stayed virtually the same, it looks like. This first white one is uh, eight point seven. Eight seven? Yep. Okay. And it this one started at 15, 15 and it is down to 13.5. 13.5, so that dropped a whole centimeter in the last. Now, I kind of think this next white one is going to be not very short. Not very good either, okay. It started at 19 and a half, and it is, is at 19 and a half. And I know you can't see it, but on the inside, it's like dipping oh, down. So okay. like so, yeah. the outside is still tall, but then um, the wax on the inside is yeah. melting more. And in some of them, they, have, uh, they sell candles that are smokeless candles. Um, and so that they, uh, and then you'll see like on other candles that the, like the birthday candle, it's going down, it's melting. Uh, you can see the wax going down and the rest of them are pretty, the, all of it, uh, they're not, they're dripless. <laughs> so right, and there's not much dripping. Not much going on in there. Is that so. why we have wax on birthday cakes? It might be, yes. <laughs> Very much so. I wonder so. if they can make dripless birthday candle. They probably just cost dripless more. Dripless birthday candles. Yeah, that, candles. that might be it, so. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go back to this screen, and then there's a neat thing that we can do. And so you can see it, it really interrupts it, and what it's doing is it's taking away a lot of that heat. Wow, look at um, all that smoke. Yeah, and so the smoke's coming out of there. And then what, what's amazing is if I put something like a piece of paper in there, usually I have a dollar bill or something, um, but I left my wallet in my car. So I'm going to put this in here. So this is just regular paper, and I'm going to cook it. And so it I'm won't start on fire? Over. No, and it keeps it from... Do not try this at this home. Right. So, and then so you'll notice like, in, in a, uh, like around fireplaces, they often put a screen up. Uh -huh. um, so I'm cooking this, this paper. And you can see it's smoking, but it's not the paper. So if I take the paper out, it's still... It's, a little, it's blackened, but it's, it's blackened from the... Um, I won't hold it open. Right. <laughs> the so candle down. So, so the paper right in the flame would start Yeah, if I do fire. that, it would do it right away. Uh, okay. Yeah, but so it's not trick paper, but then if I put it back in the screen, so like fireplace screens, the reason that they have those is not only to stop things from flying in and out of the uh, the fire, but it also keeps the heat, um, especially if something uh, um, from um, getting out and setting something inside inside uh -huh. your house on fire. So, wow. um, and you, so look at things that the uh, heaters often have that um, and. Um, lights will be covered too, so that if something touches them, um, it, they don't. Uh, it takes away some of the heat, so it doesn't catch on fire quite so easily. So, um, now one of the ways that you speed up uh, flames is. I'm um, gonna check. Okay, you're gonna check. Yep. All right, so we are at. Thank you. Because that birthday candle is almost gone. It is down. We're 11 and a half to minutes now. 1.5 centimeters. Okay. <laughs> And the blue one is down to 5.5. 5. 5, 5, so. um, 8.5. Okay. Hopefully none of them grew. 13.8 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, centimeters and 19.3. And the red one is, is at 20. 8.5 so finally that one went down a little bit. I guess so I could turn that yeah. way next time. Yeah, so so we're going, and then that was at uh, 11 and a half minutes, I think, so. Okay. Yeah. Now, one of the um, other things, the reason, like, if you ever tried to start a fire, you know you don't start with the giant logs and just, you know, set them, set them in a fireplace and try and get them. You start with kindling, which is very, very small. And the reason you do that is because you increase the surface area. Um, and then so if you want to increase, uh, make something burn faster, you, you increase the surface area. So we put kindling in or um, 
uh, with gasoline inside a car, it sprays it really fine into your pistons. Um, and by increasing the surface area, um, you get a tremendous um, amount of, of uh, surface area is like how much is exposed to it. Um, for like if you chop and something paper? in half. paper? Yeah. Right? Or, um, or if you take a, like a, like we take a, a one by one by one block, um, let's say. So that would have six sides, and so there would be six, um, six cube or cube, six square inches, right, uh, uh, on the outside of it. Yep. So right. one by one. Right. So Let's there's six see. sides in that. But if you cut it in half just once, then we're going to add two more, right? So we'll have uh, two more square inches on there. And if you cube it, then it just increases tremendously. So this is uh, a kind of a fun demonstration, but also shows the danger of you have to be very careful when you have fine surface areas. So in paint shops, they have to have special fans. So this is a really fine special powder. And you can see. Whoa. Ooh. Do not try this at home. Right. There's a good Whoa. one. So in paint shops or anywhere that they have a real fine powder in sawmills, they have to be, they have special motors that don't have sparks. I think I'll um, stand over here. <laughs> And so this is increasing the, the, <laughs> the surface area. So, so um, all those little particles has the surfaces, yeah. more surfaces, more surface like area. We chopped up that block, and so it's an incredible amount more surface area. And, and that makes it much more uh, uh, susceptible to a chemical reaction is that you increase the surface area. So that's one of the ways you do that. So, and same thing for digestion. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the reason we eat, we chew things up, is because um, that helps speed it up. So, so for like um, mammals, where we w we want to process our food pretty fast, I'm trying to get the timer going. Um, I want to say it's down to 0 0.5 centimeters. Okay, 0 0.5, and that's 14 and a half minutes. And the blue candle is at five centimeters. Okay. I need my glasses. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was wondering what was wrong here. Or, uh, this one is 8.2. Okay. This one is 13.1. One, good. Like I said, hopefully none of them are growing. <laughs> Not this time. No. 19.2. <laughs> and the red one is 28.4. Point four. So that one's going very, very slow. So it is. Be, be That's it's so tall too. Yeah. Does that have anything to do with it? I wonder. It might, yeah, actually very much so, because this one, if we look at it, you can see that it's um, the, the, the next to the tallest one is that it's got a, a big pool right there. Um, and so it's got a lot of surface area compared to this one, which is probably, that's only, can I borrow your you sure? ruler? This is only um, like one centimeter across, and that's, I'm trying not to set the ruler on fire. About two. Uh, two centimeters across, and so that's got twice as much surface area, so that's going to, Make uh, it burn make quicker. it burn faster, right. And so then, I mean, the and birthday comparatively candle. <laughs> sorry, we're turning this into a math <laughs> right. wonder. The birthday candle is almost gone, and I think it's using the, the silly putty the, the as silly putty might the be the, fuel. The, yeah, it might be just a little bit remnant in, in there. I wonder if we should away. put it out. Yeah, we might put that one away. Can so. I use this? Oh, that, that works away? too. Yeah. You're taking away well, the oxygen. That shows me another demonstration that I wanted to show okay. you. Um, so if I can ask the camera to zoom in kind of close on this one. I'm going to move this out of the way, is there's a neat thing that, that shows that, that what's actually burning in these candles is um, the uh, vaporized wax. Okay, so if I, tr if I try and cut off the oxygen, if I hit the smoke, <gasps> you'll see it Did jump. Did you see that? So, uh, so what I'm doing is I cut it off and I want to get that smoke. Whoops. And then if I can get close enough, you can see the flame will jump down to the candle. Sometimes it can jump an amazingly long time. Like, so, then this is one you can try with your folks at home. So don't do it, do it by yourself. I'm going to get my other. Do you want to try it? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to get. Unless you need me my, to. Uh, my other. I just, I don't understand why it's doing that. But it, what's happening is the smoke is full of millions and millions of little tiny particles, and so it's like oh. the, the like okay. that. You'll now do it that I way. Can okay. Do it. Yeah. Okay. So you want to, okay, you got to hold this one. Okay, yeah. I'll so let you start it. Okay, so we'll go out and then. Catch the smoke? Yeah, if I get the smoke, so try it again. Okay, I could do this all day. And 
I'm gonna make it jump down. Oh, we waited too long on oh. that one. Okay. Try again. Yeah. <gasps> So it, it's amazing how long. So, so again, what's happened? What's really burning in the in the candle is the wax um, fumes. Um, yeah, that would do a good one. So. You know, the smoke got caught in this. Um, what do you call this thing? The snuffer. S candle snuffer. Snuffer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the smoke was getting caught. Oh, was getting caught in there. Yeah. Okay. So oh. it goes down. You, All right. you might want to finish and I'll I'll get the Okay, we'll get the last measurement. Come on. Come on, timer. We're gonna look at the math of this on uh, Thursday. Okay, that's eighteen and a half minutes. Thank you. Uh, the blue candle is oh I better Okay, we down. got zero on that one. Uh, four point five centimeters. Okay, four point five. Uh, eight centimeters. Uh-huh. And 13.2, uh, 19 centimeters, and the red one, which feels like it's not shrinking at all, is at 28.9 centimeters. 28.9 or 27.9? 27.9 centimeters. Okay, 20, okay. 20, Thank so you. it went down a little bit. Now there's one more um, that, that different elements have, uh, we're gonna try this, I'm hoping that we can get the, the studio. So um, you'll notice that when you would do fireworks, one of the cool things about fireworks is that they have different colors. Um, and so these are salts. These are m mineral salts. And so we have copper salts. And, and um, what I'm putting on them is alcohol, uh, which catches on fire pretty easily. And then you can see the different colors that will be produced. Okay, so we got that one going. That one's going. There we go. And there, you can barely see them now, but we're going to try and dim the lights in the studio. And you should be able to see very different colors. Yeah, they're all burning differently. So you've got cool greens happening here with the coppers. Um, and then you've got more of the reds and things happening with the strontiums. Um, this is just. Can we move these out yeah. of the way behind them? Okay. So. Um, but oh, the green one's oh, there we go. Up yeah, the so the red. green, the colors, and yeah, you see, you can see them. So the strontium is right there, and it's got the the pretty reds and things. So this is what they put in fireworks uh, for the different cool colors that you see whenever um, you burn the fireworks. So is uh, and every element has a different color. That's called the, the chromatography of the different What's elements. What's the green one? The green one's coppers. coppers, and this is just plain old table salt. I think I burned all, all the alcohol off of them. Let's see, try it again. So um, that spray bottle is not water, it's no, rubbing it's, it's alcohol. Rubbing it would alcohol, not right? put out the fire. No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't put out the fire. So. Okay. And then when we talk about putting out fires, oops, oh, we <laughs> we're coming back on with the lights. Okay. So, um, but, but it's neat, um, and, and they, like, uh, right now they're, um, the big um, news uh, in astronomy is that they're, they're detecting elements in, uh, in um, Venus that indicate life, that, or that might indicate life. Wow. Um, and the reason, the way they're doing that is by analyzing the colors. All right, red one is 27.7. Uh, okay. I'm gonna turn my timer back on to you. Uh, 19 centimeters. Okay. 13.2 uh, centimeters and eight centimeters. The blue one is getting much shorter. It is 3.6 centimeters, and the birthday candle it's was out. It's zero, and I need to find the time. I think it's 18 and a half, but okay, so that was 21. This is zero, and that's 21, and okay. 30. Okay, this is so, some good data. So we got some good data we can use our data on, on, uh, on Friday, so, or on Thursday. <laughs> so Thursday show, Thursday we're gonna show. try to look at um, the data. All right, so let me see. Uh, um, now the other thing that, that, um, that's kind of cool uh, about some materials is that they absorb heat really well or they transmit heat tremendously fast. So um, if you've ever, um, if you're cooking, you'll notice that like if you t put an aluminum pan on the, on the stove, um, it really transmits the heat fast. And so if you touch the, the handle, you can get uh, you, you find out it's a bad idea to be touching the handle pretty fast. Um, um, and um, so there's a whole range of, of um, temperatures that 
materials will take it away. And, and what I have here is a cup full of water, and I'm going to try and put this heater on it. I'll turn it on. Again, do not try this yeah, at this home by home. yourself or anything like that. Come on. Okay, here we go. There it goes. Come on. You're going to heat the water up? Yeah, we're going to heat the water up, but I want it, but it, I've got it just in a paper cup. And turn it down. It won't, it won't burn the paper? Well, that's, that, that's what we'll see. Okay, so you can see that on, on here right now that the, the uh, I'm going to put this underneath it just in case, <laughs> that the cup uh, chars very quickly, but what? it's not burning. What? I don't... And um, so what's happening is that the water is absorbing all the heat, or most of the heat. Um, and if you think back historically, that uh, especially the, the local natives could, um, let's see, on that, yeah, so you can see the steam coming off of it, um, would cook in their baskets. We've got I think a little the bit of, the of the cups on <laughs> Starting, fire. Yeah. Um, we'll try and do the middle of it then. Um, they would weave baskets so tight that they would hold water, and then to uh, cook things, they'd heat up stones and put them in the baskets. That's amazing. Um, and so they could actually get it, it boiling and All right. In, in Should the... we do one final measurement? Yes. Okay. I know you're finishing that up. Okay. We have just a few minutes left of combustion. Okay. Okay. All right. This is, and we'll get the time. The last going. of the candles. I bet this red candle is still 27.5 centimeters. That candle did not go down very far. 27.5? Okay. Yep. But we got some movement that time. Yeah. 18. <laughs> 18? Seven. Seven, okay. Oops, that's getting close to the ruler. 13.1. Eight centimeters. And the blue candle is down. I have to get down and look. It is 2.9 2 centimeters. 2.9, and then the first birthday candle is still it's at zero. It zero. hasn't grown. So, And that was at 24 uh, minutes and 30 okay. seconds. So, um, so what, what's really neat about that is it, it shows why water is also a really good um, conductor. Um, well, conductor of heat and, and for putting out fires is not only does it take away oxygen, um, but it also um, uh, takes away the heat. So it does both of those things at the same time. So um, when it covers it, it you know stops the oxygen from coming through. And, and so um, and like I said, that, that uh, all over the world they wove such tight baskets that they could cook in those baskets and That's so really neat and the baskets wouldn't start on fire no. but the the water inside or whatever yeah, was inside right. would they put the up. hot stones on, well, the, on the inside i learned a lot today oh good yeah this Thank has been you. fun and we'll, i'm glad we're back and we'll be back on thursday and we'll take some of our data from the the candles and um we'll see how it goes see how we can apply it so. should we try this one more time how yeah, it so starts we do on that? fire yeah let's let me move some things out of the way and so we're Oh, okay. you got to get that gotta one go started. Fast. Here we go. And then, choo. All right, see you guys. Thanks for joining in. All right, you want to do that.